Star Trek The Next Generation, talking Giannis and Ted Acumpo. Let's talk about how Giannis can take the leap next year. I, I would say the coming season, a little fewer hezzy pull-up jimbos. Mm. It, it's just not a fluid look for him. I, I fully believe that this is the year that we kind of eliminate the pretense of Giannis being this kind of wing prospect that we thought he was going to be entering the NBA. Right. He's going to be playing more center this year with the way the league is going. And I think with a shot like this, it's just so easy to eliminate because specifically it's, it's in the mid range. He doesn't really have the three point range yet. Um, I would rather him practice stuff that's more functional. Right. Spot up jumpers, maybe. Yeah, it, it is really interesting. All the talk around Giannis is about a jump shot, but I think we actually need to investigate the question a little bit more. Does he need a jump shot? And specifically, does he need a jump shot next season? Let's focus on the strengths with Giannis. And this is what I want to see more of. It's just explosive ability. Ooh. Give me more of that. He's basically just Tyson Chandler, just incredibly athletic. Right. Why Why can't the Bucks run this 30 times a game? I, I think this is the perfect role for Giannis. He is a modern center in every sense of the word, in every sense of the term. You know, he has the speed advantage, the size advantage, the length advantage, the power advantage over most of these guys, especially now that he's yoked, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so. I think, you know, take away the mid-range Hezzy pull of Jimbo's, you get more of this and the Bucks are suddenly as scary as we'd all, all hoped.